Hey team, what's going on? Today we're gonna make some quarantine chow. Now these are crepes, and the legend is that they're super hard to make. Well, guess what? They are not. So let's make some quarantine chow together. This is Alton Brown's recipe from Good Eats. So join me, will ya? That's what we're doing today on Studio 214. The first thing to do is get out your handy dandy blender. We're gonna be blending all these ingredients together. And speaking of, the first ingredients are two large eggs. Delicious. Follow that up with three-fourths cup of milk. I used whole milk. And some water. Half a cup fourth. Don't forget the flour. I used one cup. And yeah, it is going to splash, so be careful. And of course, some melted butter. Three tablespoons. Mind you, the recipe is in the description. Now, blend this bad boy up. Don't forget the top, otherwise it'll fly off. Too easy. I scraped down the sides because it had lots of the flour <laughs> went up, and I, I thought maybe I needed all that goodness. So, scrape the sides if you feel if you feel a need to, and then uh, blend it some more. Mmm, look at all that goodness. This is gonna be delicious. I can tell already. Now, you should take the batter and let it rest for a little bit. This gets the air pockets out, which makes it uh, gives more strength when you're cooking them. Um, I rested mine for half hour in the chill chest. I suggest you do the same. Now, I went and actually bought a brand new uh, crepe pan, but uh, as you'll see, it is, uh, it's not needed. All you need, and I'm gonna use my old one. I've had this one for about three years now, and it's it's slightly non-stick, mostly non-stick. <laughs> and I waited to get it up to uh, 300 degrees so that, uh, well, they would cook properly. I suggest you do the same thing. Not too much, you pour it in just a little bit, and then you're going to take the pan like this and spread it around. Oh yeah, look at all that. Make sure it's nice and coated and all over, nice and uh, even layer. Now when the top dries, so it's no longer wet, that's when it's time to flip. And of course, if your pan isn't hot enough, it won't brown, and that's a no good. So here's the, the, the three-year-old quote-unquote non-stick pan, and as you guys can see, uh, well, it works just fine. Just do the same thing we did with the smaller pan. Uh, spread it around so it's nice and even and at the you know, same thickness all the way around, and then just uh, let that bad boy cook. Wait till, it's, wait till it's dry on the top, like this one here, and flip it on over. Ah, uh, look at that. Wonderful craps. Now, uh, my Russian grandmother called these blinchiki, but blinchiki is just, it's the same exact thing as, as crepes. It's French crepes, you know, and most most cultures have uh, a type of pancake, but not, these aren't pancakes, these are crepes. I don't know what you'd call them, but they're, 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 they're obviously not pancakes. They're something special. Anyway, in Russia they're called blinchiki, and my grandmother would complain and she would, she would say it would take her hours to make blinchki for us. And so she, I guess, I think it's her just way of getting out of doing it because, uh, well, I mean, it, it is gonna take you about 40 minutes because you gotta let it rest. But I mean, honestly, we're talking about 10 minutes of work and look how quick these things cook up. And let me tell you guys, it is so worth it. These are delicious. Ooh, look at that browning, that's perfect. Now, if you're not gonna stuff these with anything, you're just gonna eat them like I do, straight with some syrup then this is what you want. Golden brown and delicious. Super easy to make, guys. Go ahead and enjoy some quarantine chow. Let me know how it works in the comments. Thanks for watching.